what do we got to do to get a ball? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, you know, I think we're doing a lot of great things with the guys we've got on the outside. Uh, it's something that's really working for us. So, uh, you know, we're waiting our turn. I think an opportunity is going to come up sooner or later. And, you know, obviously it looks like we have to uh, – we have to show what we can do with the ball now that everybody else is doing some pretty impressive things with it. How much does it have to do with the defense that you've faced so far? Um, you know, I, I don't really think it has too much to do with the defense. Uh, I think we're just we're having great opportunities with the guys on the outside. Um, obviously, the, the screens have been working for us on the outside, so getting those guys the ball in the open space is something that's worked well, really well for our offense. How different has it been in terms of I mean, I've seen you out wide in the slot, both sides, offset. It seemed like everywhere. How has it been much different than in years past? Um, you know, a little bit. Um, I mean, from time to time, you'd see guys like me and OJ split out. Um, but but to get us in the slot, I think it's something that sort of throws defenses off, and uh, you know, just confuses them a little bit, and maybe even sets us up for a mismatches. Which is something we're trying to find is uh, you know, defenses getting confused and getting guys on the wrong guys. And, Setting us up for something big. What What's been the key to making those screens go? It's been such a big part of the offense. Um, yeah, uh, I think the the receivers have been doing great jobs blocking for each other. I mean, it, it's kind of funny they're they're in there arguing about who's the better blocker. You don't ever hear that from receivers. They're always talking about who makes the cooler catch or who's putting up more yards, and they're in there arguing about who's making touchdown blocks. You know, just, you know, it's it's pretty cool hearing that in the locker room. Um, but yeah, they're doing a great job out there blocking for each other. Uh, they've got a lot of a lot of chemistry in that room, and it's just you know yeah. it shows on the field. So who's the best blocker? Um, no, uh, it's hard for me to say. Uh, <laughs> uh, they, they've all looked really good. I think they're all looking for that opportunity to go out there and hit somebody um, when given the chance. Do, do you ever wonder why defenses aren't trying to stop it more, or is it are they trying to stop it and they just can't? Or I mean, what? Um, you know, I, I think you have to respect who we've got in the backfield. Mm -hmm. um, you can't. You can't leave the box empty against a guy like T.J. Elton or Kenyon Drake or, or Derrick Henry. You have to respect that, and it gives us the opportunities on the outside. The way Kiffin has called the first two games, what stands out to you about maybe how the rhythm of it or what he's calling it sometimes? Um, you know, I mean, I think it's a lot like what we've been used to in the past, um, though it may not seem that way. Um, I think. I think he's trying to get both the quarterbacks comfortable um, with two guys who don't really have too much when the game matters experience. Um, he's trying to get them comfortable, and, and the screen's been working very well for us. How much do you think we've seen of the offense through two games? Um, you know, I think there's a lot a lot left on the table that we, we could show. Um, and I think the coaches are saving that up for, uh, for maybe if it just works on a different defense. Um, yeah, I think. We put in a lot of stuff, and we take stuff out for certain defenses, and we game plan around it. So I think a lot of the offense is still out there, and uh, and the coaches are just waiting to use it. Yeah, I know it's like a, I know it's a pretty cliche, but do you think you're just taking what the defense is giving? Yeah, you? absolutely, big time. I mean, I mean, if you go back and look at games, like we'll run play, not this season, but in the past, we'll run plays over and over again because it just works. I mean. I remember in the SC Championship, we ran the same play six times in a row because it worked. So, Was that like uh, a run play? Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, if, if something's working for us, we're going to keep on using it the rest of the game. Is that like kind of what it was with those screens? It was just yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was, we had we had the numbers, and it was what we were looking for. And we spit it out there, and obviously with guys like Chris Black, Christian Jones, and, and Amari Cooper out there to, to make plays, it's, it's really nice. You've seen the wide receivers catch screens. You can you call one Saturday? You lobbying for any tight end screens up there? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I throw out a pitch every now and then, but uh, it always gets shot down. Uh, surely some will go to OJ later in the year, but uh, you know, I mean, we're we're just waiting for our opportunity. Um, like I said, uh, hopefully when we get that opportunity, we can do something with it uh, and, and make ourselves look not nearly as good as Amari, but hopefully halfway as good. How good has Amari? I mean, looked. Yeah, I think it's just a testimony of how hard he's worked in the offseason. Um, you know, some guys want to be good, and, and he wants to be great. He wants to be the best to ever come through here, and you have to admire that. It's it's kind of a, a privilege to me to be able to play with a guy like that and see his work ethic. And, and it definitely rubbed off on me. You know, um, it, I saw how hard he worked, and I knew that if he can do it, anybody can do it. So, yeah. you know, it's just it's awesome seeing his hard work come out and, and – be able to put the numbers he's put up so far.
How much is it to digest when you can be put all over the field? Or does that not matter? Is it just sort of formation and then you got the same plays? Yeah, pretty much. You know, we, um, we'll, we'll call any personnel and, uh, and rep a play because with us running this no huddle, Coach Hiffin could forget who's out there and just call a formation. We have to be able to know any position out there and just be ready to run the play. As a, as a team, Saban talked about the importance of focus stamina, and I don't think you'll have a focus conditioning test or anything preseason. So, what does that mean to you? Um, you know, I think it's, I think it's pushing everything you've got on every play in practice. Um, if you can do that, push yourself through practice, everything, every single play, give 120 percent on every single play in practice, then the game really comes easy. You know that uh, that focus is there. You know you've repped this play so many times. And when you run it full speed, then it should come full speed in the game, just as like you've repped it in practice. So I think that's where the focus stamina comes in. Not only, you know, obviously with, with physical stamina, but just the, the this is how I see it because I'm going this speed, you know, if that makes sense. 